the operation itself, rib fracture stabilization or flail chest stabilization for the case of Mr. Woodside, is a relatively new, uh, uh, it's an application of a, an old idea. It's an idea that's been around for a number of decades. And uh, now I think the technologic advancements in the hardware that's produced and, and probably just as importantly the critical care aspects that uh, we, we participate in have allowed this, this to be fully realized. Initially it was the resuscitation that was paramount. The, um, my evaluation came thereafter and, and uh, we wanted the opinion from all of our surgical colleagues and make sure he was stable to undergo an operation of this magnitude. And uh, at the time, uh, we needed to get specialty equipment uh, uh, specifically for Mr. Woodside. So that was the, um, those were the adjuncts that needed to be in place prior to transitioning him to the operating room. Well, this is a uh, 3D reconstruction of Mr. Woodside's uh, chest wall. And this is based off of the imaging that he had on his initial presentation uh, uh, the evening of his accident. So we take the, or the radiologist rather, take the imaging that he had looking for other life-threatening injuries uh, and we're able to take the bones and uh, digitally reconstruct them to um, his chest wall. And you can see, I'll highlight uh, this element of his chest wall, all these fractures along his um, left chest. We're looking at his spine here along the backside and uh, um, as I rotate it around, you can see the degree of displacement that's evident. Um, rotating it around, you see that some of these ribs are multiply fractured, overriding. Um, and in someone who is uh, awake and alert, uh, these fractures would be excruciatingly painful, even with him intubated and uh, under sedation and, and pain medicines, still very, very painful. And you can see the multiple breaks uh, all along his chest wall. So this is uh, similar to his preoperative reconstructed CT scan, and you can see these uh, plates in a different configuration. And this just highlights where these plates are along his ribs. Uh, and in comparison to his preoperative CT scan, you can see the, the contour of his chest wall is restructured and mirrors his right chest wall. There are more of my partners are doing this procedure, and I think there's an increased awareness of not only within the institution here, but uh, local regionally and nationally that this is um, important. And certainly trauma patients are not, uh, uh, not shy of rib fractures, and we see these patients often. And um, this is just another adjunct in the armamentarium to care for these patients.